Uh, somebody well, mark that down. Yeah, Roger right. Federer That's used me. profanity. Um, <laughs> is is he right, or do the prefer the the top players get preferential treatment? If they do, is that just part of life? Every player in there has their team, and they're lobbying for what they want and they need. It doesn't mean that they get it. And, and um, from what Paul Anacone says in his time as coach as Roger, Roger didn't even know half the time when they went to ask for things that that he was just not concerned with. So. I think Paul just liked to get, go at night so he didn't have to put on sunscreen when he was coaching. But no, but in seriousness, this is driven by economic realities. It is driven by TV. It's driven by Roger played a night match before he's going to play a day match. Now we're going to balance it out. There are lots of factors happening in the scheduling room, and the lobbying is a very small piece of that. I think the top players earned the right to, to request but whether they get it or not, that's another story. So, I mean, Roger, you know, this is why he's a diplomat and from a neutral country. Even when he's really, really ticked off, he still does it with a smile on his face, although he did it through in a small expletive. Did you feel like, as a top player, that you your requests were honored when you made them to the tournament director? Most of the time, but uh, there were some players that said, I'm absolutely not going to play at night. That shouldn't have been uh, <laughs> granted, but it was most of the time. My, my request was to play singles and doubles on the same day so that I could have a day off the next day. Also, that way I knew I could play earlier in the day. I, I didn't like, did not like playing night matches, but you only always got one. Me, I didn't want to play night because the lights were lousy and I couldn't see the ball. Otherwise, I didn't care. I, I do think that was some really interesting character insight into Roger Federer. I mean, what was being alleged essentially was that there was something unkosher, that there was fair play was being undermined somehow. And you can see that that really offended Roger. Part of the explanation is, yeah, you know what? He's a star. The stars play on the big courts. The stars play for television. Someone's got to play the first match. Only nine matches got done the other day. Someone had to play back to back. Why wouldn't it be the guy who's driving revenue? But I also thought it was very interesting. You don't see Roger Federer set off like that very often. And that intimation that somehow he was losing his power, clearly that offended him. When, when it is really relevant is when the weather's going to be extreme, like it has been in Australia. When you, If you get a day match, you're at a real disadvantage compared to playing at night in the shadow. There's no real factors here to worry about other than the time that your alarm clock is set. The weather's pretty good this year. Now, Roger didn't want to play at noon. That, that would not yeah, have been his request. Yeah, so, uh, and for yeah. Daniel Emmons to bring that up after you just get blown off the court. Really? That's the problem? No, that's not the problem. All right, Roger, whatever time he plays, it will be against David Goffin. In the fourth round, Roger is 8-1 and one against the Belgian. Let's go to